Folks are paying more at the pump, that's for sure. But imagine if your gas tank took 120 gallons. That's the reality for the trucking industry right now, hitting independent drivers where it hurts. It's very expensive. Look at this. Our drive is shut down today. Right now, man, with the rates going and the fuel going up, it, 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 pretty, pretty hard to really right, man, try to make a profit. According to AAA, the average price for a gallon of gas in New Hampshire is $4.01. That's up 46 cents from just last week. And it's just a few cents under the state record of $4.05 set back in 2008. And for some independent truck drivers like Randy Starks of North Carolina, fuel cost is considered part of his daily overhead. Now, once I pay $660 to fill my truck up at 120 gallons, so, yeah, that's, that, that's a lot. The Biden administration is expected to release 60 million barrels of oil reserves to help stabilize prices. Masood Sami is a retired Southern New Hampshire University professor of international business and a former senior economist for OPEC. He says the move should have a short-term effect. The supply increases, so that should take the pressure out of the market. But how long would that happen? That's the question. Depends how long this crisis with Russia would last. Sammy says monetary policy, like raising interest rates, is the first step to easing inflation. Because like it or not, it causes some form of economic slowdown, which can lower oil prices. As economic uh, slowdown happens, then demand for oil, for transportation, other things would go down. And so that affects the demand for oil. When that relief might hit the pumps, that remains to be seen. I think this is a very fluid situation. It's going to take a little bit of time to figure out how things will resolve itself. Jason King, WMUR News 9.